Well, new this morning, a new bill expanding birth control access to in, in Idaho is one signature away from becoming state law. Local News 8's Connor Knuckles joins us in the newsroom with more on this bill that passed by the narrowest of margins. Good morning, Connor. Yes, good morning, Dylan. By just one vote, Senate Bill 1234 passed the Idaho House Representatives yesterday, entering the final stage of becoming a state law. Now, the bill requires insurance companies in Idaho to cover up six months of birth control instead of just one to three months. Those who voted against the bill say that putting requirements on insurance companies is not something the government should be doing, which, uh, while voicing concerns of health risks from birth control. People think birth control is so safe and efficient and great. There's a lot of concerns about birth control, actually. Six months on a medication, you could cause severe damage. I think this is a medication that doctors would like to see people once in a while and maybe on a more regular basis than once or twice a year. However, those in favor of the bill say it will help women have longer supplies of birth control and save them money. There's a lot of women who live out in um, the rural districts because it can go through the mail, it can be mailed to them. I wish we had this for many other scripts uh, rather than just birth control. It would save some money on the RX side for health insurance. This is such a low, low cost script that the sh insurance industry is neutral on this one. The bill now heads to Governor Brad Little's desk, but there has not been any confirmation yet if he will uh, sign it into law or veto the bill. In the newsroom, I'm Connor Knuckles.